Well, hello everybody. I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Thursday here and it's almost, we're almost at the weekend again. I'll tell you what, these weeks are going by just really, really fast. Um, uh, you know, I, if you can possibly tell, I'm super excited to get back to Costa Rica, but I'm also getting a little anxious because I got a, <laughs> the time sneaking up on me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull that trigger. I'm either gonna buy my ticket today or tomorrow and then that will kind of make it official. I've oh, got a new shirt on today, as I did yesterday. I'm constantly buying some new stuff this, these days. This one is uh, more for our yoga, meditative, spiritual types. Nan Namaste, the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Now, I will tell you, this, this, I love this design. I love the colors of the design. This, would, this works a little bit better on a black shirt, and it works a little bit better on... Um, I think I've got it in, in Amazon in a maroon or a, an off type red, and it really works like that. I just like, I, I wear so much black, I, um, I figured I needed to wear something else. Anyhow, I'll drop a link to this one um, in the description below. Today, I want to talk about patience, consistency for raw food diet results. Um, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications to say, stay subscribed to the channel. Uh, you know what? We live in this very fast world the, these days and it's getting faster all the time. Um, you know, everything's fast. People have fast food. They want this fast. They want that fast. They, we've, lived, we've, we've come to uh, expect instant gratification on things. And I think a lot of people, like, I've, I see people all the time. I've seen this for almost like the last six years. And it's just my opinion, and maybe I could, but my evaluation could be wrong. But I really see people that are doing so well, and I think they're so close to feeling how they want to feel, getting the results they want to get, but they just don't have the patience because we want it now, now, now. Want it quick, want to see that weight loss, want to lose 30 pounds in a month. And it just doesn't make any sense if you really think about it. For a lot of us, it took decades, decades to build to this level of toxicity that these bodies have that um, we're dragging through life. So you can't expect to have lived like you've lived for decades and decades, even if you're younger, even if you're 25, even if you're 30 and uh, you've lived on you know standard American diet, just the way most people have lived, you can't expect to undo that and just go bam, you know, be vibrating, you know, overnight. Um, and so many people, if you would just like, you know, look at this as a marathon, not a sprint, and not look at those immediate results, and not actually not even look at the results, just look at the, prog the process. Always look to the process, focus on the process, trust that process, and also trust the way that you're gonna start feeling. You know, sometimes, especially, we always have to put it in terms of weight loss because that's the most tangible thing that most people can see when they, you know, start trying to get healthier. But a lot of times people can feel phenomenal, but for some reason the body's just not releasing the weight yet. So, but, but then the, the, the losing weight becomes the end all be all and it's constantly changing. I see this all the time, people that are constantly making big changes. Now, just to differentiate there, I'm always talking about tweaking, and I think we can constantly uh, be tweaking on how, uh, the way we eat and how we're doing things on a daily basis. What I'm talking about are these big shifts from going from, say, fruit-based to this, or this to that, or, or greens to fruit, but making big changes in your diet before you've even given what you're doing a chance to um, work. I've seen this with your, and you know what? A lot of people are following, uh, it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. Um, I see this trend, it started when I first got into this lifestyle and was watching a lot of videos, which consequently I don't anymore. There's a lot of big YouTube channels out there that previously were raw or not raw anymore. Some of them are completely gone now. That in my opinion, they were just a little too focused on growing their channel. They were just a little too focused on growing their brand instead of focusing on their health focusing on what would really get them to a better place doing the raw food diet. And I'm not trying to say, hey, you failed because you're not a raw, you're not doing the raw food thing anymore. It's like, you know, they wouldn't even like entertain 
the, you know, they just didn't stick with something. They were trying to grow that channel and they constantly, every time a trend came around, and I won't make, I, I never mention specific trends because it's not my intention ever to, to like, possibly hurt somebody or call any one person out. It's calling out a, a general process of thinking. And I saw that. And I would see a lot of these big YouTubers all of a sudden, and come on, come on. I did a video recently about not following. Don't be a follower, don't be a sheep. And I would watch the turn, say a big name, a bigger name, a big YouTuber or somebody that had a following. All of a sudden, they radically shift and a lot of times they radically shift because they just can't even hold on. They can't, they're not, they're not really doing the lifestyle. They're, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but for whatever reasons, they change what they're gonna do and they change radically. And all of a sudden, just like little sheeple, all their followers, just because so-and-so, hey, did you hear what so-and-so is doing now? You know what so-and-so says? Thank God people have finally stopped name dropping on my channel and, hey, well, do you know what the, I don't care. I don't care what any of them do. And I know what's working for Jack. I don't care what the most educated person out there is saying about it, whatever, and in their radical move, I know what's working for Jack because I've plotted along. It's not sexy and I can't, I don't come on here and okay, now I'm changing and I'm doing this, 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 and the other. So my journey is not the most exciting. It's been about just plotting along, plotting along, figuring things out. Ooh, maybe we can do this. Making small changes, almost changes that are so small you can't even um, notice them. But it works and you keep moving forward and you keep getting a little better you keep getting a little cleaner you get keep getting a little stronger or that's been my um experience so far that's that's just me but um you got to give this time this stuff some time to uh work number one is take when you first come to eating a, like this it takes your it takes your body a while to adapt to eating like this to taking in the amount of fiber taking in the amount of food that we have to eat because everything before was so much uh, more calorie dense you could eat something small and get a thousand calories 1500 calories before you even knew what you were doing so we, our body has to learn how to eat that much food. Our mind has a lot to adjust to and take in. So, you know, it, you're just really, you're shortchanging yourself. If, when you're doing something, when you're doing something even, and some people, that's another one too, is stop comparing yourself to other people. Your journey is gonna be your journey and it's gonna take the time that it takes for you. And it's not, don't try to compare how, what it took for me, what it takes for this person, what it takes for them. Worry about what it takes for you, and that's going to be different. So, um, and and people are just shortchanging themselves when they're doing something for not a long enough period of time for it to really yield results. I think I, I wonder so many times, like, how far was that person away from you know th that having clicking, having that aha moment before they decided, okay, well, I'm going to change this because so and so is doing it now. Hey, do you know what so and so said? What do you think about what so and so said all the other day? That's why I never respond to those. I don't care. I don't know. Basically, I don't usually know exactly what so and so is saying, and I don't care what so and so is saying. Listen, I'm not into that big dog worship. I don't care, you know, how big the YouTube channel is, the Instagram brand is, um, or what their stats are. What I do tend to respect is the people that have been in this game a long time that are thriving on it. And I'll tell you something, and this, uh, this, this was reinforced when I went to Woodstock last year. There's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of OG, OGs in this um, raw food thing in plant-based diets that probably have the most knowledge of anybody out there that have probably been doing the lifestyle successfully for longer than most people have even been thinking about this, but they don't put a ton of content out there so they don't get the same kind of ooh, ah, ah following, but they know what they're doing. So anyhow, you know, have a little bit of patience. Have a little bit of patience, be consistent, give these things a chance before you radically just stop what you're doing and move in a whole different direction. But anyhow, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.